Um, Rachel, are you there? You got a minute. Hey, Kylie. I'm here. What's up? I'll be coming to your high-rise apartment block later on, so make sure the door's open for me when I arrive, okay? That's right. Me and you are officially going to be living together. Huh? Make sure the door's open for you. Living together? I'm not sure I follow. My belongings for the move should all be arriving tomorrow morning. I'm sure I can count on you to help carry my stuff in and unpack my things, right? Great. Excellent. Thanks, babe. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down a second, Kylie. What do you mean, the move? I haven't heard anything from my husband or your parents about this. Yep, because this is the first time I'm telling anyone, you big doofus. <laughs> Um, my mom and dad are both on holiday in Thailand right now, and my brother's away on business in Arizona, so none of them will be back home for a while yet. You know that, right? Why, yes, dearie, it just so happens that I do. Which is why <laughs> you, who got left behind to watch the house while everyone's gone, are the only one left for me to tell. Does it make sense yet, blockhead? Some people are so slow to understand, like seriously. <laughs> I do wish you would have said something sooner. Why do you think it's fair to spring this on me out of nowhere? Surely you can't actually expect me to make the necessary arrangements to take you in at the drop of a hat like this. I have my own life to live. You're putting me in such an awkward spot here. I'm sorry, Kylie, but I can't do this. Don't be so dramatic, Rachel. Besides, what choice did I have? Listen, the thing is, you know my boyfriend, the guy I was living with? Well, we broke up. Or rather, he dumped me. Can you believe that? Ugh, guys are such assholes. Anyway, that's why I have no choice but to move back in with mom and dad. And since they're on vacation while you stay behind to watch the house, I'm telling you. But Kylie, this isn't your mom and dad's house. It belongs to me. What? What the heck are you talking about? I've never heard anything so crazy in my life. <laughs> No, dummy. My parents are very kindly letting you live with them because you're my brother's wife. What possessed you to believe the house is yours? <laughs> That's hilarious. Stop acting like you're the center of the universe. That house belongs to my parents, which makes it my family home, which means I have the right to come and live in it whenever I feel like it. You got that, Missy? How about you start acting a little more feminine? Jeez, Rachel, have you ever heard of modesty and reserve? Anyone would think you were a dude with how aggressive you can be sometimes. It's a wonder my poor brother doesn't divorce you if this is the crap he has to put up with. Kylie, listen to me. Just because your parents happen to be living in this house doesn't necessarily mean it belongs to them. Damn it, I have had it with you. This discussion is pointless because you're such a dumb blockhead. Let me make it real simple so even a moron like you can understand. The bottom line here is I'm flat out broke and can't afford to rent a room. Do you intend on leaving your own sister-in-law out on the streets to starve in the freezing cold winter? Have a heart. Oh my god, is this what you were really like all along? Am I finally seeing your true colors? You're horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Should I tell my brother about this? You know, I think I should. He has a right to know what a cold, heartless monster his wife is. Jesus, Kylie, are you for real? Ugh, fine, you can stay. But I'm not kidding when I say we genuinely don't have any rooms for you to stay in. What about the room right at the back? That's my room. Hmm, I see. Okay, I'll take that one. Kylie, this isn't your family home and you don't get to make the rules here. I, I just want you to remember that. Who cares? Anything is fine as long as I get to live in a luxury high-rise apartment. I need you to leave as soon as you find somewhere else to stay, and I want you to promise you'll keep looking regularly. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, see you this evening. I hope you're ready to welcome me. Um, what's your problem, damn it? Where the hell do you get off on acting like such a sassy bitch queen while staying at my mom and dad's house? Anyone would think you owned the place. Excuse me? I told you to act more feminine, didn't I? What's the point in you being married to my brother if you don't even know how to be a wife? I thought this when I came home last time, too. I could tell there was an atmosphere, but didn't want to say anything because I'm so polite and respectful. 
but I won't stay quiet any longer. I have seen the way you walk around like you rule the roost with that horrible, arrogant attitude of yours. You make my poor mom and dad so intimidated they barely dare open their mouths. Then there's my coward brother, burying his head in the sand and never saying a word, pretending everything's all sunshine and rainbows while his parents suffer. I feel so bad for them. What are you talking about? Anyway, more importantly, hurry up and vacate my room. Pronto. My belongings have been piled up in the living room for days now. Is this seriously any way to treat a girl in her own house? I am sleeping on the goddamn living room sofa for crying out loud. Wait, did you do this all on purpose? Are you bullying me? Did you already forget everything I explained to you on the evening you arrived? Forget what? This apartment belongs to me. It's my name on the deed. I pay all the bills. The furniture belongs to me. Literally all of it is mine. I have no intention of intimidating your parents, and believe me, I'm pretty sure I'm not. If they seem different, surely it's just because they're being polite because they're conscious of the fact they're living in someone else's house? What? Ugh. How many times do I have to say it? This is my parents' house, which means it's my dad's name on the deed. Where the hell do you get off on trying to steal my family's belongings? Stop saying weird crap now. Ugh. Why is it that you seem completely incapable of understanding the most important part of what I'm trying to tell you? The only one who's incapable of understanding here is you. This is my house. You? You're nothing but lowly vermin. That's right. You're the lowest down on the pecking order here, and you'd do well to remember that. As long as you're under this roof, my used underwear has more status than you. Hurry up and get out of my room pronto before I flip a heckin' switch. Do I make myself clear, lady? Kylie, would you mind telling me why my private belongings are strewn all over the living room and hallway floor? Oh, that. I didn't know you'd be home this early. You left me no choice. What did you think was going to happen? You didn't hurry up and get out of my room, even though I gave you countless warnings. So I did what any reasonable person would do in my situation and used you being out all day as an opportunity to take all the stuff out of your room and replace it with my own. <laughs> Sorry, honey. It's mine now. I just made a post on Insta telling everyone about how I just moved into a luxury high-rise apartment overlooking the river, so obviously I needed a room. Now everyone knows how important and high status I am. As for you, you're now officially living in the living room. I hope you like the sofa, because that's where you've been forcing me to sleep all this time. Time for a taste of your own medicine. <laughs> Holy crap, Kylie, you've seriously gone and done it this time. You need to quit acting like this. You had no right. Frank and your parents are going to be back the day after tomorrow. What's the problem with me living in my own parents' house? You should know you're not getting off the hook with just a telling off this time. What are you talking about? This house belongs to my parents, you freaking doofus. Why would they get mad at me for moving into my own room? Anyway, the real parasite here is you, you worthless lowlife, stay-at-home housewife. If you don't like it, then you get out. Excuse me? Quit making me repeat myself, you pea-brained dimwit. This is my house. My parents live here, which means the house obviously belongs to them, and I'm their daughter, which means it's mine too. Therefore, this is my house. Do you understand yet? God, you're dumb. How the hell could the house belong to you when all you are is a stay-at-home housewife parasite who leeches off my brother's fat paycheck? You're basically on welfare. Kylie, I'm not a stay-at-home housewife. Wow, really? Whatever. That doesn't change the fact that this luxury high-rise apartment belongs to me. This is a direct order from the daughter of the apartment's real owner. Get the hell out of this apartment now, you worthless, low-life, good-for-nothing blockhead parasite. Good grief, this is pointless, isn't it? Fine, I'll get out right now. Woohoo! Yippee! Yay! <laughs> but you better not touch any of my stuff. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Finally, I don't have to tolerate you in my space anymore. You should know I won't be taking any responsibility for what happens to you after this. Whatever, you homeless loser. Good morning. 
Well, if it isn't my favorite homeless loser. Want to know what day it is? It's party day, because we're going to celebrate my homecoming in style. I invited a bunch of my friends over already. It may only be morning, but that just means the drinks are going to be flowing all day long. Woohoo! My friends thought your stuff being in the hallway and living room was weird, so I told them it's there because we had to fire our maid servant for being useless. <laughs> my mom, dad, and brother won't be back until late tonight, so me and my friends fully intend to party all day long while enjoying the view from my luxury high-rise apartment. <laughs> Catch you later, loser! Rachel! What? Where are you right now? Let me stay at your house! If by my house you mean the high-rise apartment, I already let you stay there for ages, did I not? But I just got kicked out. My mom and dad just came back. I was expecting them to praise me for kicking you out for being so arrogant and failing to fulfill your wifely duties to my brother. But far from praising me, they flipped out and told me to pack my belongings and get out. I've never seen my dad so angry. It was terrifying. They were so livid that they wouldn't even give me time to get everything together. So I ended up getting kicked out onto the streets with nothing but the bare essentials. Oh, so that's what you're crying about. Yep, Frank just called, apologizing for your appalling behavior. He promised to return my room back to how it was before you let yourself in and kicked me out. What? Uh, um, I have, like, zero idea what's happening here. Uh, the bottom line is that I'm homeless. You'll let me stay there tonight, won't you, Rachel? Can I come back, please? That's not gonna happen. Please let me stay. I'm staying in a business hotel tonight. Huh? It's only a single room to begin with, and besides, even if I wanted to let you stay with me, it'd be against the hotel rules to let someone who wasn't a paying customer in. That's why it's not going to happen. But I thought you were going to go stay with your parents at their place. Originally, the high-rise apartment was my parents' place. Huh? What? I don't follow. I'm pretty sure I already told you what I'm about to tell you on at least one occasion in the past. But my parents currently live in Singapore as the managers for my company's overseas division. Your company? Uh, Singapore? They liked Singapore so much that they decided to stay there. Which is why my dad transferred my name onto the deed for the high-rise apartment you just got kicked out of. Wait, are you being serious? Uh, this isn't some kind of joke, is it? As for why your mom and dad have been living with me in my apartment... You know about the company accommodation they'd been living being demolished three years ago, forcing them to look for somewhere else, right? They did their best to find somewhere back when they got the eviction notice, but nothing seemed to pan out for them. The day of eviction drew closer, but they still didn't have anywhere. I felt bad for them and figured it wouldn't hurt to have them stay with me for a little while, kind of like temporary refugees while they looked for somewhere else. So I asked them if that was something they'd be interested in, to which they said yes. Now, it was only originally intended to be a temporary thing, but it actually turns out we all really enjoy living with each other, so we decided to carry on with the same arrangement. They've been living with me ever since. But I thought my dad was the one who bought that house. Do you understand you were wrong now? Rachel, what am I supposed to do? Why are you asking me that? I know it was your house, but I... I sold some stuff. Excuse me? I wanted to make up for some of the money I lost by paying for the moving company to move my stuff. What did you sell? Oh, you know, just things like books, accessories, the printer for the computer, towels, drink holders, and the sofa. Holy crap, what the hell did you go and do? I knew I was right to take my laptop with me when I left. As someone who works from home, I'd be screwed without that thing. Jeez, talk about dodging a bullet. Um... How much did you get for everything? Huh? The money. How much did you get for selling my things? Um, about 900 Wow, you must have sold a lot of my stuff to get that much. You'll be paying me damages for the total sum it cost me to buy all of that stuff, and you'll be paying at the price I bought it. Damages? What? Yes, obviously. I shouldn't even need to say it. But you can't seriously believe you were going to sell a bunch of my personal belongings without my permission and get off the hook without facing consequences, could you? 
Or are you actually that delusional? But I, I used that 900 on the party with all my friends after I kicked you out. You know, like on drinks and things and a DJ. Wow, incredible. Tell me something, Kylie. You don't have a job, do you? Listen, what I'm about to do isn't just to ensure you come up with every last cent of the money you owe me, but it's also to help you on your way to becoming a decent, respectable member of society who pays her way without leeching off others. I'm going to introduce you to a job that'll involve living on the premises in accommodation provided by the owner. Huh? If you have no money and nowhere to live, you have no choice but to accept. I'm going to live with them? But where? All of your brothers send the address of your new workplace soon, so be sure to make your way there as soon as you can. Um, Rachel, can't you at least give me a tiny bit of information before I go? I don't want to talk to you any more than I have to. Rachel? Your outrageous shenanigans this time made me lose the last little bit of hope for you I didn't even know I still had. From here on out, me and you will have absolutely nothing to do with each other. Me and you are as good as strangers now. Rachel, please! Goodbye. With that, Kylie escaped faster than lightning. Where did she go, you ask? The only place she thought she still had a hope of finding shelter, her ex-boyfriend's place. Unfortunately for her, he had zero intention of patching things up with her and called my husband the moment he realized his psycho ex was causing a scene on his doorstep. My husband promptly made his way over in the car, bundled her into the back seat, and took her to his friend's fish factory, where Kylie would be starting her new life as a live-in worker. We found this out later on, but apparently the reason Kylie's ex broke up with her was because he found out she'd been selling his personal belongings online behind his back. She used what money she'd been able to put together with her illicit activities towards her moving fees, and that's when my part in this whole saga began. I promised Kylie I wouldn't go to the cops as long as she paid me back every cent of the total sum of my stuff she sold. The overall amount isn't actually that high, so I like to think she's capable of paying it back. It's also encouraging to know she currently spends every single day working like a dog under the watchful eye of my husband's buddy, the factory owner. Who knows? Maybe there's hope for Kylie to become an upstanding member of society yet. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.